What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Tuesday, April 7th. 2020 we're still stuck in quarantine mm -hmm. here we go again we're going to talk about coupling volume and trend so last week we talked about window dressing and the theory of that and and then we went into the psychology of all this trading and what type of psychology you need to have during this time but now is when volume becomes a big indicator out almost outside of price but it's always yeah. second second deal. price okay so mm -hmm. before we do that let's just talk about a little market analysis and i want to show you guys this chart of gold futures okay meanwhile the rest of us are sitting here in a bear market and gold is fucking at all-time highs here or at least 52 mm -hmm. week highs i don't know all time i'm not i'm not fucking going that far back in the chart but point is that yeah it's probably at all-time highs but the fact that in a bear market, supposedly, something like gold would, in my mind, be at lows. But it seems like people are moving money from the market and putting it into gold. Into gold. Because theory is that may be a little safer bet for them. But yeah. there's a lot of things that go into that. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that. So the point here that I'm trying to make is not just that the bounce may not be over in the market it's also that notice the volume okay granted we have jammed to highs okay but look at what the volume has done the volume has just straight up trended off so there's a bit of divergence here that i'm not the biggest fan of so Obviously, you see we jam higher, yeah. but there's really no continuation or follow through on the volume side of things. So that's mm -hmm. when the and it's stuff that the push. Hush. Yeah, that's when the push is not not convincing. So mm -hmm. there's not much market analysis that really can be done right now outside of just the basic thesis that we're fucking bouncing and <laughs> it's. Dude, that's really, it, that's really the truth behind the whole matter. Because if we look at all of this, the situation we have here is, and I just did this for fun. So Oren talked about the death cross and uh, last week. And, and so I just went about and made a little moving average crossover strategy that all it does is when the 50 breaks the 200 on the daily, it puts a little red arrow. So one thing I want to point out here is like this period in time, right? Which is obviously more exaggerated than this period of time. But the point here being that we got the cross, okay? We officially closed here, that confirms. And then we panic and now we continue to bounce and bounce and bounce and reclaim. And once we reclaimed that 50, that was pretty much game, game time from there. Granted, we were not in the same market conditions that we are currently in here. And so for me, and in my mind, I'm not entirely convinced the bounce is done simply because like in this case here, you have the cross down, push into that panic again, and you get the push. You almost always get the push back into these levels, okay? Mm -hmm. And so that's that's why, you know, when they talked about yesterday, do we go to 280 mm -hmm. or 285 first, or do we go back to 240, right? I don't think we're gonna go back to 220. That's just my thoughts. Yeah, I don't think so at all. My feelings, I really don't see us ever getting back here. I, I just mm -hmm. don't see that happening, just based on volume. 
And yeah, there would have to be some significant, I think, virus, you know, something new comes out, something worse. But yeah. I doubt, like, once that bottom's in, you know, spies shown in the past, once that, you know, that uh, point of no return bottom, Max Payne, is in, then, you know, from there, it's just to uh, buy the dip again. But yeah, we'll see, and you know, pull back. So you got to expect some pullback. There's still uncertainty, but ultimately. And another thing to consider here is that, you know, even in this downtrend right here, we had slight downtrend in volume and then bounce and now volume is increasing again and so now the volume is starting to follow the market itself in the direction it goes so here is what you would consider you see this big bounce right there but during the big bounce you had a downtrending volume even after the bounce perked right this is called divergence so this is volume is <clears throat> diverging away from the trend that volume is in a downtrend yet we are in a strong uptrend so now the volume is trading roughly in the same direction that the market is and so i think we found a range i think we found a bottom i think people are starting to uh get back into the markets <clears throat> because for one i personally I don't see us going back to lows. Even with all the coronavirus stuff, even with quarters, yeah. earnings, the new, each earnings coming out in the future, I just don't see us truly panicking again. I'm always up to chat about the market. So number one, <laughs> right. volume confirms your trend. Volume can also confirm your reversal points and volume confirms your support and resistance lines. Something very important to note here is that cumulative volume Okay, that means it adds up for those of you that didn't know what that means. Just had to spell it out for you. Confirm. A little exam. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's going to be on the test. Uh, <laughs> confirm support and resistance lines when identifying a line determined by a consolidation zone. So this is a method that Bao uses that we all talk about, and it's finding a level that is that really has nothing to do with uh, like a wick or a, a high and a low. We're looking at a level that it has consolidated within for a long, mm -hmm. let's say for example, a nice little uh, range consolidation. Yeah, it's a range consolidation. And so that becomes a way to validate your support and resistance lines. It's not just a mm -hmm. pop and then it pulls back. It went sideways at this level or it dipped mm -hmm. to it stayed at it and then pulled up off of it but it trended there and stayed within a range for multiple multiple days maybe weeks mm -hmm. that is when you yeah. have a situation where you got to take into consideration volume plus mm -hmm. time spent at that level exactly that i was just going to say because the valuable. sort of the emotional thought of you know someone holding through that consolidation you know you got to take that into account could be more yeah, emotions exactly. in play on a crack or you know break of that level of that range of consolidation. Price but. signals are the single most important factor of anything, but volume should always be your mm -hmm. secondary confirmation. Oh, a yeah. lot of people like to use tape as a secondary confirmation, but in reality, mm -hmm. that's volume, right? Yeah. So yep. just look at the volume. Volume, tape, level you can't two. can't read tape yeah. with volume. It's all you about just combining factors into your favor. So, yep. you know, combine them all, but they're all secondary to price. Yep. So, you know, the lines are most important. Yep. So now I want to show you guys this. So this is, so yeah, <coughs> JB3CK007. JBEC007 <laughs> is what I'm going to assume that says. That is a good example of price consolidation. So you can see that now your range to choose from is 55 mm -hmm to 45 so on the pop back to it you could consider 45 a, con a consolidated support zone that turns resistance mm -hmm. if 45 breaks your next line would be 55 based on this amount of consolidation yep and if you didn't uh know what that looked like zoomed in i did that for you sorry just kidding um <laughs> y'all have a good go one eat. you're still around see you we'll guys see you later
Peace. Adios. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.